guys, and today I'm going to be explaining OpenGL ES 2.0 and what it's going to be doing in the future Minecraft update, Minecraft Pocket Edition update. So, it's rumored to be coming in Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.10.0. We aren't fully sure about that one yet, but it does look, you know, it does appear to be coming in 0.10.0, but it might be coming in 0.10.x or 0.11.0. So, I'm just going to be explaining, you know, what OpenGL ES is and what it does for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, OpenGL is a or OpenGL ES is a computer graphics rendering application programming interface. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> but really in short, it's just a graphics rendering API. API stands for application programming interface and graphics rendering is Kind of straightforward it'll be rendering you know the the textures and the graphics in general uh, rendering all your chunks and stuff will all be done backend by OpenGL ES so OpenGL ES is used for rendering 2d and 3d computer graphics typically used by video games and it is hardware accelerated using a graphic a graphics processing unit uh, also known as a GPU and in computers you've probably heard it be called a graphics card it's different for uh, a, a tablet or a phone or whatever for uh, mobile devices, but in a computer, you've probably heard it called a graphics card before. Same thing, different thing. It's uh, embedded is what it's called, and that is where ES comes from. Embedded systems like smartphones, computer tablets, video game consoles, etc. All of those are embedded systems, and that is just uh, using an embedded GPU. That is where, that's what I was kind of talking about earlier. So it's not a graphics card, it is a GPU or an embedded GPU. So that is what OpenGL ES is. It's just a graphics rendering API, and that'll be switched over from, I think they're using 1.1 right now, up to 2.0. And that is going to be actually a bigger update than it might sound. So, really quick, I want to explain why they're going with 2.0 instead of OpenGL. OpenGL ES 3.0 or even 3.1, the newer versions. So those add quite a bit of new features and different things, but the thing is they're actually going to take away from your performance in the game. Even though they are updated, they will take away from your performance, and they're not going to do anything for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So they decided they would try to... Well, they had to think about it, because there are a lot of people in the community who don't have a really powerful device. There's some people with really weak devices. So they had to think about it, and when it comes right down to it, the best performance is coming from 2.0, and really it's just the best option they could go with. So OpenGL ES 2.0 is what they decided to go with, and it will improve your performance by about 4 to 5%. So if you're running at about 35, 30 frames per second, you will notice quite a bit of difference, and some people will definitely be able to improve their graphic settings or improve their rendering distance and that kind of stuff with this update. Another thing that the modding community is really looking forward to, and I'm definitely looking forward to, is the uh, use for the shaders mod. So this will be able to add the shaders mod, and it'll be a lot more like the PC version. So you'll be able to have things, you know, like the uh, sun flares and the newer graphics and shaders, obviously. And you'll have things like the moving trees and the moving water. That kind of stuff will come in OpenGL ES. So what it else it'll do is, you know, kind of tough to say, but definitely performance and the use for shaders mod and just the graphics in general will look better. And it'll allow for newer features and stuff. And, you know, it'll be able to look a lot more like the PC version. So that is going to be a major plus. And, you know, it'll be, it's just one step closer to making it like the PC version. And once it gets that spot, once it gets close to the P, or, once it gets on par with the PC version, that is when they're starting to add exclusives to uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. So this is definitely a big step in the right direction towards getting new features and exclusives. So that is going to be really awesome to see. So good update here. And, you know, 0.10.0 also have a lot of other features. So we're definitely getting close to the PC version. So hopefully you guys stick around to see... Uh, what Pocket Edition, Pocket Edition does, and I will be making a lot of 0.10.0 videos and future update videos, so if you're not subscribed, I hope you hit that subscribe button because I will be doing a lot of videos on this along with tutorials for MCPE and MCPC. So, 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.